What is up everyone? It's Bali Shreds, day five. It's just started raining as well, just as I'm about to go to the gym. Absolutely typical, but I messed up pretty big last night, I'm gonna be honest. Went to an all-you-can-eat steakhouse uh, and it was an absolute disaster. Loads of steak, rice, apple crumble, malva pudding, custard, ice cream. It's a disaster. I just weighed myself this morning, I'm 104.5. So I'm actually, I've gained weight rather than losing weight. But no worries, you know, some of that's gonna fall off. But regardless, I'm gonna have to make some changes to, to the Bali Shreds protocol because it's not working it's not working well for me right now. I think it's too much fruit or it's the dairy milk in my coffee. One of those two things is making me bloated. So I'm gonna make a few changes. I'm gonna to switch to almond milk for the coffee, uh, for the milk in my coffee. And then instead of having a lot of fruit, I'm just gonna have this 200, 300 grams of watermelon pre-workout. I might have another one of these post-workout and have it with some chicken. So that'll be my first meal and then my dinner will be the same as usual. The all you can eat place, I might have to stop going there um, whilst I'm doing this barley shreds protocol because I can pretty much undo a full week's worth of dieting in one meal, which is pretty pretty impressive to be honest, but it's, uh, it's not good for me. Now, with regards to this vlog, um, maybe it's a good thing for you guys that uh, I am not hitting my goals right now because maybe it's more interesting. Maybe there's more to learn from this because how many people, you know, they set goals and then it doesn't work out or, you know, the experience issues. Like if I did this and every single day was absolutely perfect, probably be more boring than um, if, you know, I document my struggles and when I don't do well and stuff like that. So hopefully this is more valuable for you. Uh, th this is just me trying to pull out a positive of this. I don't really care that much because I know I'm gonna hit my goals in, uh, anyway, but when you are struggling to find, look, basically my approach to dieting is I find a routine, a particular, and when I say routine, that includes the foods that I'm eating. I find something that works and then I just run it for like consistently for days in a row and then uh, until I get to my goal, right? So that's the plan. I'm still trying to figure things out, figure which foods I want to eat and stick with um, and figure out, you know, how much movement I need to do and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to document the whole process. So we've taken a bit of an L, but no worries. The goal remains the same. We're staying on track. We're going to hit chest and maybe a few extras today. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, today is chest day again because literally everything else is sore. I did legs yesterday. I've done everything, so we're back to doing chest, but because um, I feel like I've done a lot of chest recently, I'm gonna do a completely different workout to normal. I'm gonna show you this exercise now. I guarantee you've probably never seen this chest exercise before. And this is really good for working like, <clears throat> I don't know what the, the scientific name for the muscle is, but this is essentially like the opposite of a shrug. If you look at my chest right now, you might be able to see that it's contracting. Now I'd recommend that you do this at the start of your workout rather than, the, than at the end, because you'll get a better contraction. Oh, yeah, it feels good. It's like the opposite of a shrug. You're essentially uh, pushing down like that. You can see when I do it, you can see like there's, there's something going on there anyway. Uh, so if you've never done this exercise before, I'd highly recommend that you check it out. Okay, set two. So you see, I'm really sinking down. I'm letting my shoulder blades, shoulders come up and then I'm pushing down and out. Mm. 
Okay, set three. One positive about eating lots of food is that training is much more enjoyable than when you're in a calorie deficit. Like yesterday, I was really struggling just to function. Today, I feel good, albeit a little fat. Okay, so now I'm gonna do incline dumbbell press. A chest day would not be complete without doing some kind of incline press. Has to be done. That was a bit too light, so I just did more reps. That was quite a good set of 15. Okay, set two. Set three. Okay, exercise number three. I've not this, done this one for a long time. This is the dumbbell crush press. So I've got the bench on a slight incline. You wanna have the dumbbells touching each other. And then just come down and press up. You should feel a nice contraction in the middle of your chest. Good. All right, set two. Mm. 
Okay, set three. So with this exercise, it's really not about the weight. I'm really not lifting that much weight. It's more about feeling the contraction, feeling the squeeze when you push up. It's like really feeling that contraction and squeezing the muscle hard. You're just gonna get way more out of it than if you do a higher weight, but you don't get as good a contraction. Okay, so exercise number four, this is basically a single arm um, cable incline fly. Uh, there's probably a, a technical name for it, but essentially it's like a fly, but we're coming up. Oh. So this is really going to try and work this region here. Just trying to improve my cleavage. Never have too much cleavage, right? Set two. Let's go, baby. Mm. Mm. Okay, just two sets on that last exercise. 
I'll probably just do two on this as well. Set two. Okay, so that was five exercises for chest. A little bit more than I normally do, but because I ate so much food yesterday, I'm having a great session. And obviously uh, chest is one of my main priorities to grow at the moment. So I'm doing a little bit more volume. Um, I'm not really that bothered about shoulders. Usually whenever I do chest, sometimes I'll do triceps, but I've got arm day tomorrow. So I wanna keep my triceps fresh but because I've still got a bit left in the tank. I'm gonna do a little bit on shoulders, maybe just two sets of rear delt flies and two sets of laterals. And the reason why rear delt flies are good is they're actually gonna improve your, your posture, which is gonna help make your chest look better. So this is still gonna aid my overall chest aesthetics, if you will. Set two. Okay, so we're gonna finish off with two sets of lateral raises, only 15 kg. Okay, set two. Oh yeah, done. What a difference having a lot of food in you makes. I should eat dessert more often. All right, it is almost 4 p.m. and I'm having my first meal. I wasn't hungry until I started cooking, but now I'm absolutely starving. So we're having 
Chicken breast. Yes, that's the meal. But <clears throat> it's got some Cajun spice on, this is pretty good. And if you can find this, I would highly recommend it. This sauce, it's uh, Tabasco Chipotle. Put some of this on, absolutely gangster. And I've got some watermelon. Okay, so macros for this meal, 79 grams of protein, nine grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs, 505 calories. Yes, we are gonna get lean.